There remained a lot of challenges to BTK revascularization. Um, the patients and the disease process is particularly complex in the below the knee space heavily calcified lesions, longer lesions, um, and the management of these challenging patients are associated with a lot of complications, dissection, embolization, etc. Uh, so finding an option that, or treatment algorithm that really results in uh, adequate luminal gain um, and improved perfusion, helping wound healing ultimately, which is really our goal, or, or relieving rest pain, um, and be doing this in a safe and durable fashion remains a big challenge in this space. The concept of IVL is really exciting and intriguing. The benefit of being able to use that technology to help in terms of luminal gain um, and management of these, um, of these stenoses. Certainly calcified lesions are challenging for a number of reasons. Embolization, dissection, rupture, you name it. And the, the safety profile that we've seen so far with the use of IVL is really exceptional. TK2 study is exciting because we are finally treating the challenging patients. We're talking about patients with heavily calcified disease, we're talking about long lesions. These are these tough patients that we're all seeing more and more of. And finally, we're doing a study specifically looking at a treatment option for them. The algorithm for these complex, longer calcified lesions is constantly being refined. Um, if we see the management, the safety continue, and the efficacy, um, long-term durability of this treatment, I think there's no question that IVL will certainly be one of the key aspects of our algorithm for complex calcified lesions.